My name is Angela. My name is Nicole. And welcome to the Ominous Stitch Podcast. Hello, everybody. What's up? Welcome to a really long special episode. Look how cute these are. I love them Amigurumi. so much. These okay. are the Voodoo Zombie Amigurumi. That's right. With, it's, oh, go ahead. Go ahead. It's a pattern made specially by Miss Nietzsche over here. That's me. That's, yeah. Um, yeah. So the reason, oh, see, so I'm squeezing because I was a little mad that they're like, that was my prototype. Yeah. <laughs> my prototype. And then this is the second one I made, just trying to do it again. So cute. And they're then I'm so going to show you. How to I love do their it. big fat feet. Big fat feet. And That's what I was trying to do. Tiny little nubby arms. They're so cute. So, what I was going for was that you can sit them next to you while you're crocheting, knitting, sewing, whatever, and you could throw your needles into it. I love it. That's why they're That's fat. That's why they're voodoo. And That's they're, why they're fat. voodoo. Okay, yeah. supply list. Let's oh, go through she put this. The yes, list. I did. Yeah. Let's go through this, Nicole. What okay. do we got? We've got your G hook, not a J hook, a but a G, G hook. Smaller. Four a millimeter. We're going smaller, yeah, y'all. I like small because it's helpful. Makes to make a it tighter, tighter stitch yeah. for the Amigurumi. Cute st scissors that Angela got me. Yay. Yeah, they're yeah. so cute. Stitch marker. Stitch marker. Uh, please get one of those. <laughs> yeah, I have like a gajillion of them. Yes. I love the stitch markers. You can also use mm -hmm. just a piece of yarn yes. and fold it back and forth in between everything. That's right. You have super cute little I've got, heart yeah, buttons. Yeah, I've got green yarn. You could them. use whatever color you want. I got heart buttons and black buttons from Amazon. I have DMC black floss. When and you're, you're also going to need some black yarn as well. Yes, for later I didn't on. put that on there. A little tiny sewing needle. And I totally also forgot the darning needle on this. The darning needle. Yeah. You're also known as sure. the tapestry needle, darning yes. needle, same thing. And it's curved. You'll see it. We're so going to cool. start with the hood. What's up, hood? So magic ring. I took forever for me to figure this out. <laughs> Miss Angela actually had to help me do these at one point. And then we watched it and I just been doing them so much that yeah. it's easy You're now. You're a pro at I them. got this. You but do. I'm going really slow because, you know, when you try to do hands on video, it's so intimidating. <laughs> it is intimidating because you're like, I have to do this well. You have to do this right. So we're going to do six single crochets yes. into the magic ring. That's right. So Amigurumi is all about the single crochet yeah. and all about the increase and the decrease. Yes, that's and it. And you're working in the round. Yeah, it's so yeah. easy. Oh, oh, and I messed double. up. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> we fix it. It's I okay. Fix it. I fix everything. It just takes me forever. It was funny when I was recording these videos for Miss Angela, I would be like, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> that was like one of her favorite whatever. words. <laughs> I love, I had so much fun listening to her when she was sending me these because she was talking to me and you can hear like life happening in the background. Oh, life, there's, yes. there's, you know, there's kids, there's husbands. Oh, do not slip stitch to join. That's great. Thank you for putting that in yeah, there. Yeah, you're welcome. So we are working in the round, a continuous round. That's why the stitch marker is so important. Yes. So you're going to be going into the first stitch. And we're going to be increasing the six. And so every stitch that you see the six, or we're going to increase each one. So you're going to end up with 12 stitches. Total. Yeah. And the increase means that you sink two single crochets in the same stitch. Thank from you. Below. Yes. yes. Use your stitch marker. Yeah, use it because you'll forget. Yes. Okay. So there's me trying to struggle to find that one again. Okay. So we're increasing now into, um, like she said, sinking two single stitches crochets into each stitch oh look oh, i even put it on there so good oh you, you didn't like, even ahead know of my time. i had no idea <laughs> <Ahead of my laughs> <time>. <laughs> i had no idea it was oh, that man. helpful but yeah it's like like angela's saying so it's you're always just increasing decreasing or keeping it the same and that's it and that's why i love amigurumi because it's so easy <laughs> there's nothing that you have to memorize well no fancy stitches no fancy. it's just a single crochet yes but there is and you as you're increasing you'll see most of them are pretty easy, but then there's some rows in here. You'll see that um, it you want to do a little different because it actually creates a perfect circle. And that's row four. So we'll yes, get there soon. Yes, row four, crazy rows. But I love the way that you figured that out because a lot of times they can go hexagonal. That's what I don't like. Yeah. yeah. And then you kind of have to pretend that they're round. But yes. she figured out a way to keep it round. And I did a little research. Again, this was during the time I, I came down with COVID. Thanks, kids. Um, <laughs> and so I was row just three. out. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So row three is a single crochet. You put the sink the one in and then... Get it, Nicole. Get it. Man, 
stitch marker. Don't forget the stitch don't marker. Don't forget the stitch marker. <laughs> I love it. Look at you. You even reminder. Yeah, don't forget that. So you do a single and then it's an increase, increase. right? Yeah, I think we're alternating between singles and increases in this yeah. row. So in the pattern, it'll say single plus SC, single crochet plus increase. Yep. And you do that all the way around. And how many does that make? I don't know. <laughs> Hashtag because, because math. math. <laughs> I think it's 18. I think 18, sure that it's sounds 18. right. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I don't have my notes in front of me. I should. That was stupid of me. I'm going to do that actually right now. Pull up your so notes. I'm going to pull up my notes so that I can keep up with the video. Yay. But you know, this episode is at the same time we did with um, Angela did story time. I did. We did a little switcheroo here because you guys are getting pretty used to Miss Nicole doing story time and me showing you the stitches. Well, this time she got to debut her own amigurumi and you guys this is free pattern for you guys and we want you to show us what you're making please show us your little zombie voodoo dolls show us where you're putting all the embellishments and stuff and we want you to take this pattern and run with it yeah and have you don't fun. have to yeah as i mentioned later i think but oh, oh. we forgot to film row, row four. four did Oops. i not Nope, row four two single crochets plus one increase all the way around How total of 24 that? stitches I don't know. We just didn't film it. I'm That's sorry, okay. Guys. We got it. That's okay. We're starting with row five. Okay. We're going to do one. This is the crazy row anyway. So okay, it's good. Good, good, good. So one single crochet, then repeat increase. No. Yeah. This is crazy. Okay. Let me, let me give this to you. Yeah. So you get one single, right? Yeah. Do the one single. Then five more times, you're going to do an increase plus three single crochets. Yes. See, I'm pausing because like, I'm like, okay, what is this? Like, my how notes? does this work? Yeah, that's crazy. And this is in row five. This is where. So here's the increase. Yes. And now we're going to do three singles. Three singles. Yeah. Uno. <laughs> dos. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe. I got this. I got this. Tres. Okay. And the reason why we're doing this five times. Okay. Because again, it makes the circle really perfectly round. I don't know why. Math. Because, because math. math. Yeah. Because math. Someone explained it to me. I was like watching somebody do like the the physical, like writing it out. It's insane. Like, I'm like, I can't even wrap my head around it. I'm just going to follow <laughs> the pattern. I'm just going to, this is how it goes this and I'll accept it, it and we're good. I don't need to know the why. Yeah. I don't need to know the why. I'll do it and I can do it. We're good. Okay. So do this five times around. Yes. And then you're left with what? Three stitches so at the end? So then you're left, left, lift. You're left with three stitches. And what's going to happen is you still do one more increase at the end, which you'll see here. And then you'll do two single crochets. So that's it at the yeah. end. Yeah. But like it still works out as 30. an increase with three, yes. increase with three, increase with three, because you started with a one. single crochet. Exactly. And then the increase. Yeah. yeah. So you're just kind of displacing the increases so that it doesn't... Um, like sink into a little bit more of that hexagonal shape. Yes. Yeah. And you're going to end up with 30 single crochets. 30 here. single crochets on this. One. We're almost there. Who was our first creepy doll? Miss Annabelle. That's right. Yeah. And I forgot to give you guys an update on my mom's Annie I doll. That. I forgot okay. about that. Wait, let's my mother-in-law's Annie. Tell me about the update soon. We're going to get into this next row. I'm sure it's going to go really fast. And then you're going to tell us. Okay. So row six, there should be 30 total stitches in this round. Perfect. Yes. I am on it with the notes. You did I'm it. hanging with she you. Was I'm really, counting. She was active with it. She's so awesome. Okay. So round six, we're going to do four single crochets and an increase. And we're going to do that six times around. That's right. A total of 36 stitches. 36. Nice. And so I don't, get it. I don't think I, you, I do the whole video for this, right? Uh, I don't remember. Some of them you do, some of them you don't, but you'll see there's a, there's always a card. I try to make it as clear as possible so that you guys can see okay we're skipping ahead and yep. I'll drop a card so you can see that happen so my mother-in-law's doll Annie is still doing her job she's still you know I have to get a picture of her one of these days I haven't been up to my mother-in-law's cabin in a while mm -hmm. so I haven't been able to snap a picture of Miss Annie but I'll I'll get yeah, one so you still need one to guess yeah but she's still doing her job and watching the cabin and making sure every making sure everything is good there Oh, continue to row oh. seven. So yeah, we okay. didn't film that yeah, whole I row. Figured. And then, oh, here we go. Round seven through 13. We're going to single crochet in each. So a total of what is that? 36? That's 36. 36. Good counting because math. Because math. So yep. you're going to do 36. So four singles bunch plus of times. an increase, right? Yes. Yeah. Was that five rows? Oh, yes. 
That's uh, for, fi- for five rows because this is rows seven through 13. Oh, we're in row seven through 13 now. Yes. yes. 36. Up five rows or six rows because oh I can do math. <laughs> <laughs> seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. That is seven rows. Seven rows. Oh my gosh. Because, because math. math, people. <laughs> we're so good at this. Um, How am oh. I a musician and I crochet and I can't do math all at the same moms, time? Because we're moms, man. <laughs> Oh, so heads yes. up, keep a counter tally on the side. This is what I have to do. I have, um, I write numbers on the side of each row and yes. then I cross them off. Yes. So that really helped me a lot yes. on this one. Yes. <laughs> All right. Four, four hours <laughs> later. Yes. That was the joke I threw in just for oh, Nicole. I love it. <laughs> That's SpongeBob, right? It is SpongeBob. Four so now we're on later. row okay. 13, Th- row 14. So we're ending row 13 right now. Oh, yeah. Ending row 13. And then we're going to go to row 14, which is another bonkers one, just like row five. Okay. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's what fine. are you doing to us, Nicole? I don't know. I'm just trying to make this look cool, yo. <laughs> I was like, you know what? I'm making my own pattern. I, know. I can do it's what I want. It's so cute. I do what I want. These zombies, I love them so much. And hey, listeners, you guys could have an opportunity to maybe win one of yes, these. Yes, we're, we're doing do giveaways. A, yeah, we're going to totally do a, do a giveaway soon here. Keep an eye out on our socials. We'll do it. Maybe even on YouTube, we'll, we'll post it. But. Uh-huh. All right. But so row 14. Yes. This is crazy. We have two single crochets to start. Okay, cool technique, invisible oh, decrease. Yes, yes, yes. I yes. love this. So we're Watch. gonna do the front loops only. Front loops only. I didn't know this until Nicole just showed me really? this. Really? Yes. And then it's kind of like you're doing a double crochet. Yes. You're gonna pull through two. Just two, yeah, and then pull through two. Yeah. yeah. And this creates the the invisible decrease because it doesn't show up on the pattern very yes. well. Yes. It's really. Neat. It's all hidden behind it. It's yeah. so cool. So row fourteen. Then you're gonna do four single crochets and a decrease. And we're going to do the decrease, y'all. Here it goes again. Yeah. Watch, watch, watch. So you go in both front loops and pull. then yarn over, pull through, and yarn pull, over, pull, pull through. through. That's it. You do that five so times cool. now. So four singles. One, two, we're counting three, four. Get it, Nicole. And you then the invisible decrease. So, um, Angela, what were you talking about, though, with, the, with your, the, the, your your own creepy doll? with um my my mother-in-law's doll yes um nothing really i don't have any no, new no, news no yeah updates. no updates you just need a she, picture though she's yeah i just need a okay. picture she just you know does her thing and yeah. and guards over the cabin and that's all i know she no movement anything. no anything <sighs> yeah so it's like a sigh we're still dodging a bullet with her right now but yes yeah Oh, that's scary. But that's not true of the real Annabelle, who we do mm-hmm. talk about in our episode. Which is pretty insane what she does. Yeah, I it. had Nicole going crazy with oh, that one because there were a bunch of stories that she'd never I heard. I didn't know. And it freaked me out. The It's the when they deal with Ed and Lorraine Warren at the end of that. Yes. I didn't know all of that. And that really creeped me out. Yeah. I, I That's shocking. Okay, sorry. That's a good one. Yeah. The end of this row, um, you just finish up with two single crochets at the end yeah so you're just left with there two okay she put the notes in look I at her did. go and i try it. to be as detailed as possible you're so good oh i try she's, i want everyone to like be able to make editing awesome. guru it's amazing we're you doing guys, this by ourselves <laughs> i have no idea what i'm doing so <laughs> all of this great. I'm, thank you i'm trying you're you're on fire all so right. we're on row 15 row 15 now this is simple it's straight up three single crochets plus a decrease okay Three singles plus a decrease. Times six. Yeah, That's math. <laughs> <laughs> I, you know, it's funny trying to read these um, patterns and doing the math without looking at the number. I was like trying. It's so hard. <laughs> <laughs> so like, yep, nope, no, I have to look at it. So it's 24. You'll end up with 24 stitches. Yeah. 24 stitches. Yay. So what are some of the other dolls that we talked about in this episode? See, I can't, I, I, <sighs> don't want to give everything away and I don't want to go in order because there's some remember. really creepy but dolls the, the one that really re, like sticks in my head is uh-huh. the Letta Letta Meow yes yes Letta is an interesting one so Letta is over 200 years old Letta That's is a insane. marionette yes in and it's a creepy Wagga one. Wagga I think Wagga Wagga or Wagga 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 Australia yeah yeah I don't know how to say it oh we're know. adding eyes now 
Oh yeah, this is where you feel free to do whatever you want. I just thought a creepy zombie doll, voodoo doll would be cool with buttons, but you can use safety eyes. So I'm going between, what is it, row 12? Row 11, 11 12? and 12, yeah. yeah. So all I do, I don't go all the way through with the uh, the threading floss, the, the DMC floss. I just kind of go halfway. And then I just start sewing on the button and that's it. Yeah, you it's, just sew on the button eye. You can use, like she said, just a, a normal eye yeah safety like eye. the safety eyes yeah, a little totally the little black fine. safety Big eyes one little one or she also you'll see in a minute here she makes a little x with black yarn yes. for the other eye you do whatever you want and you your eye you. placement can be wherever you want yes. we like it a little bit lower because it makes a cuter derpier yeah, little face derpier derpier I like that word yeah so so cute yeah so back to lettuce so yeah. lettuce and marionette that was um it's owned by a couple in uh, Australia. Mm -hmm. Letta has their own uh, Facebook and Instagram page. So That's you right. can, and Letta speaks in first person on there. But <laughs> Letta um, has moved on its own. So creepy. Right? It has um, blessed them with lottery winning. That's right, that though. Cool. It's, it's like a positive one, right? Yep. And they've been you know there have been offers to buy letta from other people and That's they're like right. nope 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 well, we're keeping letta man the lottery yeah yeah but course. there's like scuff marks they found scuff marks on the floor letta oh, moves around at night i don't yeah. like that i don't like that at all I know. <laughs> that's too creepy let us i think letta sticks with you because it's marionette yes yeah i don't know why well all the dolls stay with me but letta was just because every time i say letta it reminds me of stella oh like stella so yeah. i'm like letta yeah and that just creeps me out yeah so yeah um letta was really really creepy and even though it's a, a kind of a lucky doll but then when i was going through the the um, pictures to add for socials i saw the lily dolls and like the yeah. really creepy lily doll yeah what is that i yeah the one in the red dress yes the red dress lily with like striped hands like yeah. black and white like yeah. hands yeah. it's like it looks like beetlejuice <laughs> right that one is available for purchase so you can buy yeah, it online and have your own little kind of bad juju doll yep. if you want it i don't know who wants it but yep. you can uh, nope uh, yeah nope, i'm good she's a creepy one yeah yeah it's too creepy for me though yeah, so this, this was a really fun episode to research and a fun episode. I know, episode. you had so much. Um, yeah. Every creepy doll and Robert the doll. Robert the doll. Well, that one's fun. There's so much on Robert. Yeah. The, he lives in Florida, right? Yes. Well, in no, Key he, West. Key, Key West, West. That's yeah, right. In Key West, Florida. So you can go visit him. He's in a museum in Key West, Florida. And um, But if you want to take a picture of him, beware. You do need to ask Robert's permission. Otherwise, mm -hmm. he will mess up your camera. No, equipment. not cool, man. Yeah, he does not. You know, you need to be polite to him and be respectful and <laughs> ask his permission. Yeah. Otherwise, he won't give it to you. So yeah. I thought that was an interesting one. And he receives fan mail on the daily. All the time That's he gets insane. fan mail. Yeah. Who opens the fan mail and reads I, it? Do I, they read it to the Robert? The staff? I'm sure they do. <laughs> I'm sure they do. That's so crazy. Look at that so, eye. So yeah, did Isn't you see cute? the darning needle? You're going to see that soon. It's curved. So I found a good tip that if you get a curved one, it's way easier when you're sewing on your body parts. You'll see that later. Yeah, because it kind of hooks back out exactly. at you when you're sewing. Yeah. When it's straight, you have a lot of more like wiggling and more frustration mm -hmm. so but this was easy with the x you can just make whatever you want if you do an x and you just tie on the back and i so i, I did two experiments yes my first the the first proto day i did this where i i put the eyes on before the stuffing yes the second doll i did when the stuffing was when it was already sewn on and everything yes and it was way harder oh no <laughs> i did not like sewing on a button eye when it was already really? ahead, yes. it was harder. Yeah. So that's what I, my biggest recommendation, if you're ever going to put the eyes on, do it before. Put the eyes on before yeah. you stuff it. It's yeah, so that's a good easier. tip. Yeah. Now we're going to start decreasing again. What? 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 16. Oh, this is another fun special one. Okay. So it's one and one, yeah? Uh, row 16 is weird. It's one single plus a decrease. Mm -hmm. But then, so there's an invisible decrease. Um, then you're going to do two single crochets plus a decrease right yes yeah and you do that five times five around. times and when i was um editing this video we have other audio of nicole 
singing every time she does a decrease. She goes, invisible <laughs> decrease. And at the beginning of the episode, like or while she was filming, beginning of filming, she was singing it all happy. Invisible yep. decrease. Invisible. But by the time we get around to the body parts and she's decreasing them, she's like, invisible <laughs> decrease and my kids are like yelling in the background it was... it's so funny and i know you were watching football i was watching football so did seattle not do well did the hawks even, not do was well it, was it seahawk game i don't know i don't know who you're watching i, I assumed so it was a seahawk ago. no she's such a seahawk um fan. yes i'm a seahawk fan but i have two fantasy football leagues <laughs> okay. so i have to watch football all the time to see if my my you know team members if whoever knows fantasy football right. there i have to watch to see if they do well and we're gonna it do was like a single oh, crochet sorry. in the last ditch no, yes. no, no i'm just helping thank you <laughs> um but yeah so i was watching to see who was and i don't remember who was playing it was a thursday night game so there you go yeah yeah oh was it thursday night monday yeah. night? i don't remember I think it was a Thursday. I was doing like yeah. nightly. Yeah. It's, this took a long time, guys. <laughs> labor of love. Okay. It's a labor of love. But it's so cute and <laughs> but so But it was so it. much fun. Yes. Oh, uh, we're stuffing. Get it. Stuff so what's funny about the stuffing, um, I bought an Amazon bag that was like nice stuffing. Like it was really soft. Yes. Okay. So soft. This one I found again on Amazon, but it's like that huge polyfill. Like, uh -huh. So it's not as soft. But Aww. it does the job. You don't even, you're not touching the inside. No. <laughs> but it, it has a lot more. It doesn't give as much as the softer yeah. um, polyfill. Yeah. And it's still a lot better than, so what I use when I make amigurumi, <laughs> I <love laughs> Nicole's this. laughing at me. But so, you know, I have a dog and sometimes she will take my kids stuffed animals and rip them open. Oh, yeah. And so, you know, I got in the habit of just recycling. Reusing. Yeah, You're you recycler. reuse that filth. Look at so, you. you know, Sustainability, everybody. A, a little doggy slobber. Never hurt anybody <laughs> no on knows. the inside of your amigurumi. <laughs> Oh, so man. hey you guys might be the lucky recipients hey. of, no i'm just no, kidding no, no, I, no, we, we will use clean we'll use good one clean fresh <laughs> polyfill for you guys oh you're funny uh rose just my kids that like, get the used stuff <laughs> we're gonna talk about that more row 17 is one single crochet plus a decrease times six yeah row 17 that means we're almost done with the we're head we're almost done close. with the head yay Go, Nicole, go. Yeah, go me. Now, just as you can see, too, it's a lot harder to crochet when it's stuffed. Do you have that yes. problem? Yes, because there's stuff. There's stuff. <laughs> and it makes this, like, form, and you can't, like, bend it, so it yeah, gets a lot harder. Yeah, it's not as harder. pliable. Yeah. And then true. you're decreasing, too, at the same time, so you're, and like, It's always harder up. on decrease because yes. it's getting smaller and yes. smaller. Yeah. So this gets a little trickier. See, I'm like, It's fun because oh, you're, it. like, yay, lesser stitches, but, but at the same time, you're, like, it's like, too no. small. I can't get it. <laughs> but that's so what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, -oh. hey -oh. Okay. I have more stuffing if you need it, but you don't, I don't think I did for this no, one. No, yeah. you didn't. It's up to you guys. I think I did that for the body, but if yeah. you needed more, you're ahead. always worried about like, I don't want the stuffing to show. Yeah. If you see the body, if you, all my bodies of this, I'm working on that. That's again, don't, don't kill me and don't sue me. I'm still a beginner, but if you notice my body's kind of stretch out a little because I overstuff. Yeah. I well, you like them chunky. Yeah. Chunky, chunky, chunky. Okay. So what are we doing on this row? This last Looks row. Like we're decreasing Decreasing everything. times six. So you yeah. decrease. So you take two, do the invisible decrease. You're going to have only six stitches on this round. You're like, where are you yeah, getting this? Yeah, this is stitch? hard. I told you guys. See, it's hard. Get it. <laughs> get it. Um, get it. Get it. Yeah, but yeah, this is this gets tough. And you know what? I did right before I did this head. There is a tutorial out there floating around where you can just go up to row twelve, that last row, mm -hmm. and then um, use your darning needle to close it up to weave it back and yeah. forth. Yeah, I do that on hats sometimes. Really? Yeah, that's how I close off some of the hats Smart. that I make. Yeah, it's easy. It's just it? make yeah. It just it's not so tight. It right? just makes it a cinch. Yeah. 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 A cinch. Yeah. 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 It just it gives it a cinched look, ah. which you may not want on yes. your amigurumi. That's where so, I was yeah. a little worried about. Um, I, I mean, you you're gonna be sewing the bottom part into yeah. the body, but oh, we're done. So Yay! we're gonna cut a long tail for closing here. And is it right now that you're gonna do the cool closing trick? Is it not this one? Is it? Um, I don't know. So um, I don't remember this one. I'm just weaving in and out just as a regular. But there is a cool, she's talking about this cool thing that I do. I'll show you with the body parts eventually here, where if you want to make it look seamless when you're closing up your... Um, oh, yeah. It's in the body parts. Yeah. You'll see it. We're, we're doing the, the body, body next. Body, body. Body, body. Body, body. body. <laughs> 
<laughs> and there was a dance that, that we did with that. That's funny. Yeah, this one you're just weaving. Yeah, I'm just out. weaving yeah. it out just to close up the small hole there. Yeah. Tiny little hole. Yep. Let me get this nice little golf ball head. He's so cute. So if you, I don't know if you notice, I mean, compare if you ever do amigurumi, but look at this circle. If you've never done what I, my certain um, cool rows and look at the head and look at the pattern because at you'll how round see it. it is. Yeah, it's a lot more circular. So when you're done with any body part, if you've never done amigurumi, you just kind of take that thread and put it back into your body part. And shove it all the way through. Shove it in. And I was like, where is that needle? Um, and then you just cut it off and you hide it away. And that's it. And I thought that was so cool. I've never done this. And I was like, yeah. but, you know, before amigurumi, I was like, this is the coolest thing. Yeah. Look at that. There's my, my squishy head. Yeah. You guys should have been been there when I introduced amigurumi to Nicole because she's just like, there's blankets. That's what you do with crochet. That's all you, you make do. Blankets. I'm yeah. like, no, you make animals. Right. Okay. Magic ring, y'all. Magic ring time. So this one I do for the body, I do a little bigger. It's going to have eight single crochets in the magic ring. And his body isn't quite as round. It's a little more teardroppy shape. Yeah, yeah. I wanted that. I didn't, yeah, it's cute. I wanted his neck to have a, a little, because I, I was determined to either do it like his head, like lolling to the side, like some mm -hmm. do, or just kind of a tapered neck kind of thing. Yeah, so. he feels very like smurfy. That's yeah, that's a good <laughs> that's a good description. I like little that. Little Smurf body. Smurf body. Um so yeah, so he's going to have a little bit bo bigger bottom. Um and you know what's crazy is you're going to be doing a, the exact same amount of rows in your body as your head. I didn't realize that until Oh I yeah. It. But it's like much bigger because of the, the yeah. shape. We're doing how many are we doing? 8 in the magic ring. 8 for magic this? ring. Yeah, 8 single crochets in the magic ring. And I painted my nails just for you all. I never Yay, paint my nails. So pretty. <laughs> Okay. Every <laughs> single time we record, and I know we're going to record, we call them hand videos. So yep. every time I record a hand, hand video, video. Mm -hmm. I text Nicole in the morning. I'm like, can you bring your nail polish? <laughs> because I need well, it. Well, she just moved. And so I'm sure it's like you're sitting in it's, a box somewhere. Yeah. Right? It's mm -hmm. in a box somewhere. I haven't found it yet. It's all good. So she brings it over. And today I tried to paint my nails. <laughs> in a hurry. Red. Mad hurry. Which is a terrible idea. Okay. We're in oh, row two. What yeah, are we doing? So we're just increasing each um, one. So Two single crochets in each stitch makes 16. 16 because math. Because math. So we're doing an uh, increase in each one. Yes. So, yeah. So Nicole, I was trying to paint my nails really, really fast because I was like, okay, we're going to record a hand video. Mm -hmm. And everything was kind of like running behind schedule today. Mm -hmm. And I tried to paint them fast. And my hands just looked like they were a bloody mess because <laughs> <laughs> I used this really beautiful dark it's red like nail polish. She was clawing herself out of something. <laughs> And I was like, Nicole, help. And she was just laughing at me. And I, I was should like, have painted them for you. I don't know why. I painted your, your little girl's nails. Yeah. I could have painted yours too. Yeah. You're fine. I know. I need help. I can't. <laughs> yeah, I need help. <laughs> it's okay. I'll, I'll help next time. I Thank promise. you. Because yeah. I know when you're left handed, that right hand turns out real weird. Yeah. And I'm sure right handed people, your left hand turns out weird, right? Or your right hand. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. 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 Your dominant hand dominant is hand. weird. See, I can't even think right now. That's okay. We're almost to the end. I, I gave you the whole row. Yay. Row two. Row two. Row two of 18. All right. Yeah. So, so you see when I, I, this is where I always get worried. I was like, why is it so big in that circle? I think that's when I ever, I ever tried to do the magic ring a long time ago, like long, long time ago. I was mm -hmm. like, why isn't this working? Yeah. Keep cinching it up. Duh. Stay yeah. In. Keep pulling it. Yeah. Keep, keep pulling, pulling it. it tight. You'll be good. So row three. Is yes. What? Single, single crochet plus an increase times eight. So we're alternating between yep. single and increase. increase. Single and increase. we're going to have 24 stitches. Yay. 24. We got this. Get it, Nicole. Man. There you go. Hey. Finish round three. Finish it. You I know think we're going to have, yeah, a couple of those. You know the pattern now. You guys got it. You this is where it, it gets special. And I messed this up in the head. That's why. So row four is the, the weird one, um, like it was in the head, right? Yep. So row four, you can have one single crochet. Oh, I think you were mad at your stitch marker at this point too, because it kept oh jumping my off gosh, the you table. Guys, <laughs> she heard me. I had to stop recording like 5,000 times because I would grab the stitch marker and it would just slide away. And then I was wearing a skirt. So it would like go down the skirt. And I was like, this is insane. And it did that like five times. So I'm sorry. Um, okay. So row four is one single plus increase plus three singles. Okay. So you're going to do an increase then three singles and you're going to do that 
five, five times. times. Yeah. And you then you're the going to, yeah, you'll wind up with three stitches left after you do right? that. Right. Yep. Math. Right? Am I, am I correct? You do your math. Right. Yeah. And yes. then what do you do in those last three? Increase and then two singles. That's it. Yay. See, she can do this by memory. I can. I got it. Yeah. I found um, this special circle through mm-hmm. Pinterest. Nice. Go yeah. Pinterest. Yeah. I was Shout out to Pinterest. Yeah. Pinterest. I was just scrolling when, uh, and I have like, now I have a million crochet patterns because first it started out with blankets, right? Yes. Like putting them from you. Yes. And then special techniques started coming. I was like, this is so cool. <laughs> and so it's a, they give you a diagram of it. And then I just followed that. And I was like, this is cool for my pattern. So there you go. Yeah. Yeah. Things you didn't know. I know. It's so fun. But she pulls up all these Amigurumi. She's like, look how cute this is. I'm going to make it. <laughs> and then like two hours later, she's like, look what I made. <laughs> it's a taco. That's it's a only coffee. when I have time and the kids are like on screens. That's the only time yeah. I can do that, guys. Okay. Yeah. Three stitches left. Yep. Do an increase. And mm-hmm. then two single crochets in the last two stitches. Yes. Yeah. Because, you know, life, we have so much to do, right? So... Yeah, I haven't had much time for crochet. Well, you just moved. I know. I'm so ready to be done unpacking. It's a lot of work. And getting my farm going. You like we this. have the chickens going. Yeah. That's good. But I want to get growing things. Yeah, no, and getting those trees. Yeah. Right now we're still in the cleanup phase trying to get everything like fixed up yeah, yeah. And, and it's it's you know fall yeah. so we need to cut back a lot of the the bushes and the trees and mm. get them ready for winter the, the fake winter Quote that we have winter here. <laughs> what is where winter? it gets a little bit cold <laughs> sometimes what's that yeah it's really santa Ana season we're cutting everything back so it doesn't mm, blow windy. over <laughs> yep that's really what that is uh this row is just four singles you saw that four single crochets plus an increase yep and you're going to be at 36 stitches. And I think we're going to cut out at some point here. 36. Yeah, I love fall. I wish fall was Finish actually fall. fall. Yeah. I wish there was there, like... We get fake fall where you get a day of fall and you're like, oh, yeah. I love fall. This is great. I'm going to wear a scarf. Yep. Let's wear boots. Yep. Let's wear a jacket. Boots. I will still wear all that stuff because I'll go to work and it's got AC and I'm like, I don't care. I'm going to stay in my office. And I'm going to pretend it's fall. Yeah. And then you step out, it's 90 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> It's it's cool and crisp in the morning. So yeah. you're like, oh, I yeah. feel good wearing this It feels this good. Yeah, like this morning, it was like, it was really nice. And then it just got hot again. Yeah, so. yeah. And you're like, oh, I can't wear this around my neck anymore. Get it off of me. Yep. So this is row six, I think. You're on row six. Yeah, I'm in row six. Five single crochets plus an increase. Okay. So another like simple, easy peasy, lemon squeezy row. Yeah. Yeah, it's super easy. Go, go, go. Look how fast you're getting with this. I love this. I told you. It's just single crochets. Like if you gave me a granny square that we were like kind of working on now, eventually, I can't do that fast. I have to like, oh, oh. So yes, um, real quick. We'll we'll do this row real quick. What is this one? This is row seven seven. through 12. Yeah, seven through 12. So seven through 12 are just 42 42 single single crochets. crochets. Um, So fun story you know, as you know us probably by now, if you've been listening to us, we, I would come over to Angela's house and we would crochet. And that was how we started this podcast. We, that's, that was kind of right during COVID, right? Yeah. So Angela would be like, oh, let's do this pattern. And I'm like, yeah, let's do this pattern. So we're working on this like cool chevron, right? Like it's yes. like a- <laughs> It's like a up and down. It's a mosaic. Mosaic. Yeah, it's a mosaic blanket. Yeah. So you're working a different color each row. And depending upon which, what you want to do, you'll bring a certain color to the forefront and yeah. send one to the back. Yeah. And so it makes a cool pattern. I want to finish this one day. Yeah, yeah. We've been working on it for well Forever. over a year now. And it's sitting in my crochet pile now. Yeah. I'm like, crap, I got to do this. So I finished mine. Yeah, I could have made it bigger, did. but I, well, I had a bigger head start on my you did you did but yeah. I just yeah I don't know what I'm doing so I'm like Angela what am I doing this row and so yeah you have to count to 11 many many times oh, in it's it, and she's like I think I have 15 I don't know what happened yep hashtag because hashtag math. because math. <laughs> All right, what, but we're in uh, row 13. Row 13. Yeah, so this is easy. Ahead. So we're just doing five single crochets and a decrease, as you saw. Oh. So again, invisible decrease. Invisible decrease. That is such a cool technique. Yeah. I can't believe I didn't know it before. Yeah, you You're know teaching me stuff now. Ah, yeah, I feel so good. 
but it's just amigurumi. No, it's not just amigurumi. You can use this in all kinds of things. That's Anytime true. You have to Anytime decrease. you decrease. Because it's invisible, and I love that you don't see it. Yeah. So, so we're going to finish row 13. Ominous 13. <laughs> <laughs> now we're starting 14. What do we do? 14 is four single crochets and a decrease. All the way around. Put that stitch marker in. Um, what other doll? I remember there. Oh, oh, the island of the dolls. The island of the dolls. What is that? I can't pronounce that a crazy anything. Story. And I'm so sorry for that. <laughs> I can't pronounce anything either. I was putting in socials. I was like, how do you say that? I don't even know. I tried. I tried. And I was like, I nope. should not even try. Nope. I'm terrible at it. So the island of the dolls is creepy. It's so creepy. And the fact that you, you got to listen to the podcast. I won't give it away. But the, the fact that how it got started, yes. that creeped me out more than the actual like island itself. Right. Way, you know, yeah. like, is it real or is it yeah. mental? So, or? Right. So we, so a man moved to this island yep. and he came up with this story. Some people believe the story. Yeah. Some people don't believe the story, but it doesn't really matter, doesn't matter. because when his life was over, mm -hmm. it paralleled the story that he was telling everybody. That's right. So that's really what makes it's it creepy. It's so creepy. It's so crazy. Yeah. Uh, this row is a three single crochet and decrease. You saw that. Yeah. Three single crochet and a decrease. But oh, yeah, would you ever visit there? During the day for maybe 20 <laughs> minutes and 20 then I'd be tops. like, all right, I'm out. <laughs> what if you saw a doll like blink its eyes? Like what if you well, saw Well, you know, if they're the baby blinking eyes no ones. what happens if it's like like you saw there's like doll heads hanging right yeah i i would be like no thank you i'm no, out thank of you. here yes <laughs> no thank you i don't like inanimate objects doing yes. things that they shouldn't they, they shouldn't do be right? doing like growing their own hair no no thank you oh kiku <laughs> i know that one's oh, so cute though that was a sweet one but still insane yeah uh, this row, 1670, you saw 24 single crochets. 24 single Easy. crochets. Just, but that stitch marker, though, I've I've done these amigurumi where I had to restart everything. Yeah. And you don't know what row you're on. Because you don't know on. what row you're on. Because the row is It's all 24. It's a continuous <laughs> row because <laughs> yeah. you're not joining. Exactly. You're not joining each row with a slip stitch. No. So they're not true rows. It's, no, a, spiral it's a spiral that you're creating. Yeah. So it can be really difficult to count the row. Yeah. It's and, insane. And if, oh, you got to help me. Not <laughs> quite four hours later. Um, there's some patterns that do do that slip stitch that yeah. throw me off. Oh, really? You need to help me with okay, that. Okay. I will help you Please. with that. Okay. There's a taco one. A taco. Taco, which I didn't do right. And there's a bunny one. So you have to show oh, me this. Oh, cute. Okay. Yeah. yeah. I will show you this. So what okay. are we doing on this row? Row 18 is two single crochets and a decrease. Easy. Two singles and a decrease. Um, and this is this the is last giving us row, that little right? pear shape. Yes. I love it's it. A smaller one. So this is the last row, two singles and a decrease. And then you'll, will you'll see it, me do it stuffing with polyfill stuff with polyfill. And then this part you leave open, you leave the body open. Yeah. yeah. Don't want to close this up because of the way you attach it to the head. Correct. Yeah. You guys will see. It's so cool. So the, yeah, this is where I'm going to show you, I think, right in the body or the arms and legs, probably this one. Yeah. So I, another Pinterest trick. Um, when you don't sew any, everything up and you want it to look kind of uniform, there's a really cool way to close it up. In yes. A way. So yes. I it. think it's on the body that you show. Well, awesome. you do it. Show, you do show on the, it arms, on and the arms and legs okay. too. Yeah. This is a long video, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Marathon. Grab your popcorn. <laughs> but um, when I do amigurumi with YouTube, I usually pause it a lot. Yeah. But now, because I'm getting better, I just look for the written pattern. Oh, you don't yeah. even watch the video. Don't even watch the video. So good. Only if I'm like, what, wait, what are they doing there? And then I go back and I kind of find it. But uh -huh. yeah, I like the written it's so much easier. So Yay. there's a polyfill. Oh, good so, job. Yep. I, stuff, I, stuff, stuff, stuff. I'm stuff. editing. I'm learning. You did it. Oh, there, da -da! looks like a little light bulb. Almost. It's so cute. Yeah. It's so roundy and chunky. It's a chunky. That's like the word. So we're going to leave a long yes. tail. So the Super head, obviously, you sewed it up right so the body is going to be the one that sews the uh, the head yeah so. so you leave that tail so you can sew it the head on okay. it so you pull it through okay so some people not this part some people just leave it as is mm -hmm. this is the cool way i found to make this look kind of nice even it, and then no one's gonna see it but oh maybe we didn't oh i guess not okay never mind <laughs> We'll show you on the legs how to do yeah, it. Yeah, we'll show it on the legs. Sorry, sorry. Um, 
and if you you know leave some messages if you don't really see it because hopefully we do but if not yeah yeah we explain it I know okay, we explain good. it I, I thought we did it on the body but I guess we do it on the legs legs that's fine but it's a cool way we'll get there yes all right more magic rings for everything magic rings magic rings for everyone everyone <laughs> so this you get a ring and you get a ring <laughs> so we start with six yes yes this one's smaller so we're doing a magic ring plus six single crochets mm-hmm. if I can do it look at me go let's this is much later in the day. Her kids are just rah, 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 rah in the background. Oh my gosh, you guys. Kids and and she's like, like okay, room. guys, quiet, quiet. And her husband's like, I bought 27 <laughs> toothbrushes. <laughs> I didn't know I have these toothbrushes. He's so cute. Oh, it was so cute. Yeah. Oh, and then this, you were I like, I'm this. going to leave this in the video. I was going to cut this, yeah. but you specifically told me to I did. leave it in the video. I did because that happens to me all the time. And I figured that's a lot of people too. Um, where you snag you the snag yarn. It. Yeah. yeah. And this yarn was to come crazy. Unravel. This is like a Vanna white yarn I found on Amazon. Yeah. <laughs> but um, oh, Vanna. Yeah. Vanna. But yeah, it just, for some reason, it kept doing this. See this? So it yeah, like got unspooled. Snag. Yeah. So, so we got like, well, frog it. We pulled one stitch out. Yeah. It's fine. It's fine. I'm not We're perfect. Fine. Everything's, Everything's fine. <laughs> That's what I say. Oh, I think I emailed it to <laughs> yes, her. Yes, you did. Way. Yes, you did. Um, so what happened was I totally forgot to record the first part of the head. <laughs> I don't know how. Oh, yeah. And I was so mad at myself. That's why we don't have row four. That's right. Yeah. Because I just Cause she started with row five and sent that to me. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, we don't one. have all the head. And you're like, ah. <laughs> yeah. So I panic. I got home from work and I like got to work again and I did it, but I was just so tired. And oh, so then I had to, you know, life, hashtag life, hashtag life. Oh, wait. So this is row two. We're going to increase every single yes, stitch. That's correct. So you're making two of, of these guys. This is two. two yeah. Two, two legs. Arms. I'm only demonstrating one. Two arms, two legs. Two arms, two limbs. Hopefully you can make, you can make five one. or seven if you want. Oh, it could look cool if you only had like one arm. Make an octopus zombie. Oh, octopus zombie is yeah. cool too. Um, but yeah, so, uh, long story short, I had to do so much after I did the videos that I didn't get to editing and sending them to, to Angela until like 10 30, 11 at night. Yeah. <laughs> I was so tired. And I wrote, I'm fine. You're fine. Everyone's fine. <laughs> She's so cute. I was but tired. as a mom and as her best friend, I felt get all it. of her highs and lows. You totally get it. While doing this. And it was very entertaining for me. Because Angela's usually the one doing the videos and I'm usually helping to direct the videos, but this is the first time we've ever had like, but getting that big slice of life going on while yes. you're doing this, I'm like, Oh, I get it. I get it. Cause yep. you're not giving your a hundred percent attention nope. to your kids or Who your husband. In the room. And so they're like, Mom! Mom! and they lose their minds and they go crazy. They're insane. Yeah. Row three. Row three. Easy. Two singles and an increase times four is 16. Hey, stitches, right? 16. Because math. <laughs> We're getting t-shirts, everybody. <laughs> and they're yeah. totally going to say because math. Because math. That'd be cute. We can have like our logo in the corner uh-huh. and then we can have that in the back. I love and it. And we can have different sayings like take a stitch. And take a stitch. What do you guys think? Yeah. Tell us right now <laughs> while we're recording. <laughs> answer answer the youtube video we need to know um no, answer in the comments leave a comment yeah, leave a comment if you've gotten this far um or <laughs> um um i might make a poll we'll probably do a poll on on instagram or something but yeah that would be good yeah we can get feel get a feeler of what you'd like on a shirt yeah because okay. math. because math i love it last stitch on this row here we go oh okay Pull your tail nicole do row it. four is a really cool part. Um, I learned this on a Amigurumi video for a coffee cup. Okay. So we're doing it in the back loops only. Back loops, every single stitch. So 16, single 16 crochets. Just in the back loops. Just now, why do we do this? Does it turn the foot? It makes a little line. It's so cool. Oh. Like it kind of designates where that circular or whatever you're doing um area is so you'll see it i'll I'll point it out oh so that makes like this is the bottom of the foot now we're turning up the leg exactly gotcha i thought that would be cooler i don't know that's cool i was just trying to throw something cool in no i I love it but yeah so someone does this on their coffee cup amigurumi so that you can so it goes up right Uh uh-huh and i thought oh i want that on my foot so i did it on the foot i love it yeah 
and his his feet stick out so that's also why you see that i like that. yeah you so. see the little bottoms of the feet yeah. when he's sitting up it's like a poo bear it is so <laughs> a cute. zombie voodoo poo, poo bear <laughs> a zombie voodoo poo bear um but yeah tell us more about um let's see zach baggins has lily the doll right yes he has Lily the doll in Vegas in, in his Vegas. museum. Yeah. Okay. And what's oh. special about her? I forgot. So she, a woman had to grab her. So he got her from an antiques dealer and she just makes this like really horrible feeling. Um, mm. But there, ominous. there was an ominous feeling. There was a little girl when the antiques dealer had the doll in his shop. That spoke to her. That's right. For three hours oh, and said her name is Lily. That is not And cool. she had really bad things happen to her. Was that's like, right? You know, had some kind of bad trauma. Yes, before she was a doll. Yeah, she's actually like a little kid, right? Yeah, Ugh. yeah. That's what that's what they said. Her name is Lily, and so she creepy. had bad trauma. And um, there was a woman in mm-hmm. the picture that I sent to you. Yeah, yeah. Who physically she's touched the doll? She's on their doll. Instagram. Yeah, she had she physically touched the doll. And um, immediately was like, I have to wash my hands. I have to wash That's my hands. That's right. And, yeah. Ah, so creepy. Yeah. Um, I think this next round was just, oh, I'm doing, I'm going to decrease two singles plus a decrease. So we're getting smaller now. Two singles plus a decrease. And she's like, yeah, because we're getting smaller. She's like, ah, where are you? <laughs> get those that's loops like, that's a good uh, and the kids are like blah, 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 blah. oh yeah we could have left some of them just to show you guys but no it's pretty crazy they they get louder and louder and they're playing games and they're having fun and they're like mom i'm like nope I and they're getting tired it's and they're getting tired time. <laughs> my littlest is like coughing everywhere yeah so you know when kids get tired they get that loopy crazy oh just my gosh they're insane hour. yes yeah. what is that moms with kids you know how we feel yes you understand where we're at at this point. Even dads, man. Yes. M- my husband gets crazy when they, th- th- he's like, they need to go to bed. I'm like, I know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. When the witching hour starts in our house, my husband and I just look at each other like, why is this still happening? <laughs> like, they're much older. Letting... They're not little kids anymore. <laughs> right. So it's like, why are they still going crazy? It's I'm crazier. Because like, we fed them. Maybe we should not feed them. <laughs> <laughs> No food? <laughs> no, 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 no. You're we funny. feed the kids. They eat dinner. They <laughs> We're get just well. joshing. Yeah. Uh, okay, single crochet in each stitch. So this is 12. This is row six, single, and then it's 12 single crochets. Stitch marker. Stitch marker. I think this is our longest talk over. It is. Ever. This is our marathon talk over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like running out of things to say. No, we got <laughs> we this. We can do this. We'll talk to y'all. We're not running out of things to say. No. That would never happen with us. No. I can't imagine <laughs> us ever running out of things to say to each other. We can spend we can talk for days. <laughs> we do. We spend, like, when we go on trips, we'll spend days together and we don't run out of things no. to say. And it's funny because we're so similar. We're air signs, right? So sometimes we'll do a tangent and then we'll go off on a different tangent and then we'll come back to a different tangent. Yeah. <laughs> and we get it. We both understand where we're going with each tangent. It's pretty yeah, funny. Yeah, it's crazy. So what are we doing on this row now? Okay, seven. so we're row seven, and this is now um, a single crochet plus a decrease. Oh, we're getting smaller, We're y'all. getting even smaller. So this is going to be eight stitches. Ooh. And yeah, so because I like that look, I was thinking I was when I was doing my prototype, I was thinking about stopping right here. Mm-hmm. And I was just like, a oh, little nub. Just a little nub. And I was like, oh, that's cute. But then I was like, well, how is it going to sit up? You know, and it yeah. could with the nubs, but I was like, no, I want it longer and like a little more tripod. Yeah. yeah. So it'll sit up better. But if you feel like you want to do anything with this pattern, like I said, you can deviate, please. Um, I've, this is the reason, big reason why I made my own was because I would look up patterns and they're like, no, you can't change this. Like, yeah, why? that's right. That's what you were saying. Yeah. You're like, but I want to make it my own. I want to make it my own. I want to, I was like, they were like, do this here and there. I'm like, but I want to design it better. And that's, then it's not theirs. Right. So, yep. uh, eight single crochets. We're done. This is the last round. Last round. So eight single crochets in this one. Um, but yeah, so if you do decide to do this pattern, like I keep saying, do whatever you want. Um, if you want to deviate from what I did, if you want chonkier legs, if you want longer arms, I actually asked Angela's like, should I make longer arms? She's like, no, no. I like them short and stubby. They're so cute. They're like little T-Rex arms. <laughs> They're like, like flying. Yeah. They're like, <laughs> and 
So I was like, okay, I'll keep it the way it is. Like if you, you make like them it. longer arms, it's going to be creepy. Well, it's a zoom zombie voodoo doll. No, it is a cute. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. It, okay. Yes. Zombie voodoo doll. But it's so cute. It's pretty silly. I love cute. it. Yeah. So, but if you want to do that. Look you, at that little you foot. Totally He's so cute. Yeah. Um, but yeah, go ahead. Do whatever you want with this. Um, make the eyes different. Make if you don't have the heart buttons. Dude, Amazon's got everything though. That's where I go for everything. Amazon. Amazon. I, I would go to Joanne Fabrics and Michaels. I just don't have all the time in the world like we need. Yeah. Right? So I order everything. Amazon's so convenient. So easy. <laughs> just so easy. You just have to wait a little longer, but yeah. that's good, right? Um, so don't overstuff the legs. I do that, tend to do that too much. So I'm Stuffing with polyfill and it's almost there. Get it, Nicole. So I really do think that this is the time that we show that cool non-closure okay. thing. Yeah, yes. I'll walk you through it. I saw again, like I said, though, I got this on uh, on uh, Pinterest and thought this was the coolest way to close something up without having to like sew everything up. All right. Oh, Use the end of your crochet needle. <laughs> to <stuff things. laughs> yes. It really helps. Yes. Uh, they, that was a good that polyfill gave me like kind of like a, it's supposed to be like a stuffing hook or a stuffing like stick. It's like a, like a one um, chopstick kind of thing. It doesn't do the job. I yeah. Have you yeah. tried that before? I've tried it. Yeah. yeah. It doesn't. It just I like feel pulls like it, it pulls out. it back out. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. So I use my crochet needle because it's rubbery. A little bit more rubbery. Yes. A little bit more blunt. See, yeah. Angela knows. I get it. You I'm get there with the, you. Yeah. So now look, you're doing your little trick. Okay. This is, <laughs> have you all had the problem of putting the thread through the needle? That's probably the hardest part of all. <laughs> okay. Right? Yes. I was impressed with how quick <laughs> so you did that. Hard. Okay. So watch me do this. So I'm looking at the end of where I, I left off, right? So you're going to the second stitch and you will go through the whole stitch second. So you pull it not too tight, but then where you left off, you just go through the back loop only. You put your yarn through. And what this does is it looks, it like kind of creates a continuous circle. You see that with stitches? It's the coolest thing ever, guys. I love this trick. It's really cool. I like how neat and tidy it right. is. Yeah. It's yeah. just like I don't like the like little lip, so mm -hmm. it makes exactly. it look like it's going all the way around. So yeah. there you go. There's one chunky one leg. Foot. So cute. Leg foot. <laughs> and I did a two. <laughs> Make two. Make two. Yes. Make two feet. Unless you don't want to. <laughs> Unless you don't want. Okay, on to arms. On so to I arms. do the whole arm for you guys too. It's pretty quick in, in this grand scheme of things. You're gonna do a magic ring. You're gonna do six single crochets. Magic ring. You get really good at magic rings. I'm telling you, see this? Yep. Easy. Another magic ring. And again, this is left-handed. Reverse it if you need it. <laughs> Although I we I try. I don't know about you, Angela, when you're looking at right-handded. Does it ever confuse you? Not anymore. It oh, did it so first. Cool. <laughs> it did it first. But you know, as a lefty, you yeah. get so used to flipping things around anyway. That's true. Like it's you like you have meh. to kind of do it. It's not a big deal. It looks weird now if I watch a lefty. Do you really? Is it yeah. really? Yeah. Because oh, no. I, I expect it to go, the, go other the other way. way. Yeah. You just got so used to it. That's right. why we're here, guys. Left-handed, yo. There's a few. We're one out of nine. That's the math. One out of nine. One out of nine people are left-handed. Wow. And somehow we found each other. <laughs> All right. So uh, the arm is, again, six single crochets magic ring. The second row is two singles plus an increase. So you don't want to increase too much. And it's only going to create eight stitches. Okay. So again... Two singles plus an increase. And don't forget that stitch marker or else you're going to get Don't forget screwed. it. Yeah. Like me. I was working on a project recently. I forgot what I was. Oh, it was a it was a big taco. I was making big taco. Big taco. That was so cute. And I totally forgot to put the stitch marker in for the like shell part. Uh oh. And I couldn't count it right. And I was like, I don't want to mess this one up because I'm just started this. So I had to restart everything. No. Yeah. I was so mad at myself. Oh, Nicole. Stupid stitch markers. So yeah, don't forget. Use it. them. They're really handy. Okay, so we're coming to the end of the row here. And we got this. You got it, Nicole. You got this. Go, mom, go. I always tell that. That's my mantra. Go, mom, go. Go, mom, go. Because it keeps Rose me three going. and four. What are we doing? We're doing. We're just eight. doing eight single crochets. Oh, so easy. I think you. Um. Oh, I. You probably didn't film this one. Did I film it with the single with the the stitch marker? Yeah. So when I did the second arm, I was like gonna trust myself. I was like, okay, I 
can do this. Count eight each time. Yeah. And then no distractions. And so I didn't use the stitch marker. I was like rebel. Yeah. On on one of them, it might be this one when you're in the last row. I think I it is. It. Yeah. You don't use it. That's right. I think you have like six stitches and you're like, I'm just going to count to six twice. It. Yep. And you're like, I'm going to do it. No distractions. And then your one of your kids is like, mommy, blah, 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 yeah. mommy, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> like course. every single stitch. And he was totally quiet the whole rest of the time. But then just while you were like, I'm counting these by, on my own and oh, you needed man. to concentrate. <laughs> That's how life interrupting works, Interrupting you right? every second. It was so funny. Life of a mom. Life of a mom. Yep. They do that all the time. They, they know how to pick the timing of everything. Right? Impeccable timing. <laughs> Impeccable timing. <laughs> that was like this morning. That was funny. All right. So we're Look still how going, tiny right? these little stitches yeah, are. Yeah, it gets tougher. So what I also learned, Pro yeah, tip, there you if go. it gets too tight, you can turn it inside out. You can turn it inside out as you and also as you can see, like um I squish it together sometimes just to kind of get through things. Mm -hmm. Just as long as you know what, what stitches you're going through. Super tiny. Yeah, it's a little tiny arms. Kudos to everybody who can do the super teeny teeny tiny. <gasps> yes, the amigurumi that are like this super tight, tiny. tiny, and you're basically using floss. Yes, to to crochet to with. Crochet. I how can't. Do you do that? How do your eyes work oh. that on that level? Oh. <laughs> it is a whole new level, isn't it? A whole new world. <laughs> yeah, it's. I uh, kudos yeah. to you. Yeah, my eyes start hurting after a little bit, and this yeah. is just like normal yarn. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, yeah. The bigger the yarn, the easier it is. I think for mm -hmm. sure. All right, what Row do we have? Five, two single crochets. And then what? Two single crochets and a decrease. Is that what we're doing? Row, five, row five is two singles and a decrease. Yes. Yeah. Good job. I had look to look that up. <laughs> so like, I got silent. I don't know. She's like, it's my pattern. It's but my I pattern. Don't know. I wrote it out. That's how I did this. <laughs> I don't memorize it. Yeah. So two singles and a dec decrease for row five. And again, it's that invisible decrease. Yeah. At this point in the video, she's like, Invisible <laughs> decrease. <laughs> You've all been there. Or whatever. <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> I'm just going to do this. It's whatever. It's whatever. <laughs> that's how uh, my brain started to get fried at that point. Yes. But that's okay. Like, Ugh, one more get. It was worth it. It is worth it. It's so cute. How many of you out there that make your own videos like this do that? And they just, you just start getting tired. It's like, you know, you can do it. You it, but I get tired and sweaty. Yeah. And I'm like, I, this is not a workout. So why, <laughs> why am I sweating? Why am I sweaty? <laughs> why am I tired? And then inevitably my, uh, my moisturizer, because yeah, it has sunscreen in it, starts eyes. to yeah, leak into my eyes. I'm like, so why? Funny. You don't do this at any no. other point in my life. Nope. But when I am, trying when my hands are super busy yeah. and I'm trying to make a video, I'm going to have sunscreen in your eye, in my eye. <laughs> so I'm like inevitably you. crocheting with one eye closed. That's trying really to get what it. that it's is. so huh? funny. I'm sorry. Ugh. Okay. So where are we at now? What are we doing? All right. So now, uh, row six through eight, we're uh -huh. going to be doing six single crochets. I so. think this is where you're like, I am not putting that back in. Yeah. <laughs> look at you. Like I'm counting the six. <laughs> and this is, this is exactly the point where her kid's like, mom, yes. mom. And she's throwing like little one word answers his way. I'm trying to and I think her husband comes in and is like, <laughs> like showing her the your, toothbrushes, the toothbrushes got, and uh, Halloween costume. Halloween. He has yes. a, he's a big Funko person. I'm sure if you, if you ever know anything about Funkos, he's huge about it. And he found um, Funko Halloween masks. So he, at this point he's like, <gasps> like walking in I didn't see him I look up I'm trying to like count and I say like oh yeah Funko mask and I'm like trying to count <laughs> like leave me alone I'm counting that was so much Stop. work oh that happened to me today while you were here my son like was tapping me on the shoulder and I'm like that's what? right <laughs> and I was laughing so hard because I was like I know where you're coming from what could you possibly he's just mean? standing there and then he just stood there and didn't say anything I'm like what yeah. and he's like oh. I think he's just like oh what's wrong with you mom <laughs> like and he's like do you need me to do anything i know he <laughs> just like, was asking it. if he needed to that do any it. chores that or anything the cutest he's so thing. cute all right we did it see i did it though we did it and you cut we the long it. tail and you tuck in um the the magic ring at other end and that's it cut a long cut a long one you never know how much yarn you're gonna need to sew yeah I never so know. always overcompensate yes i always do that too pull through and then um i'm probably gonna stuff here 
Do I stuff here? Yeah. I okay. think you stuff a little bit. I mean, you have bit. the stuffing out. I know. But I was just like, do I stuff here or do I close it up? Okay. No, you so stuff. I'm stuffing. I'm stuffing with my pinky because it's so tight. And again, you're probably going to get that crochet needle if you need it. But um, yeah, it just gets pretty tight. Yes. Like, uh, here we go. Shove it in there. I, and I didn't mean to match my nails to my crochet. Oh, that's hilarious. Isn't that I didn't crazy? notice that till just now either. That's so funny. Did not do that intentionally You're so cute. And it's funny because um, I don't know if you noticed either the beginning because those videos were different. I was wearing like a different bracelet and I had rings on. I was like, oh, I need oh, that's to make right. this cohesive. That's right. So I was like, <laughs> I was trying to make you're it so look You're so cute. Better. I know. I'm silly. Okay. So you're going to make two of these arms. You want to slightly stuff it. If you overstuff it, you're going to see the holes, right? So that's yeah. why I kept looking. See, the there's, goal there's still is, in there. But... Yeah. The goal is you don't see the holes. Yeah. You don't want to see the stuffing through the holes. Yeah. That's what and then is. I, what I did was I pointed to the, the top part where you're sewing it on. I don't like stuffing that part as much because it's easier to sew on. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. keep that a little looser. There you go. All right. And then, oh, okay, good. So yeah, close the arms the same way you close the feet. I'm going to go in the second stitch. Yep. Second stitch second from the right, sti- and straight on till morning. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say that. That's funny. Oh, yeah. See, love it. same wavelength. Yep, always. That one here, you're going that back loop. Yep. Get it, get it, get it. All right. So, um, it this one's smaller, right? So it looks almost like I closed it up, but I didn't yeah, see that. There's still so a little hole. There's in a there. little tiny, tiny hole. Yay! Yay! Oh, the little nubby arms. <laughs> so See, they make two. Long. Make two. Make two. Now we're going to attach the parts. Get it. Put the body together. So I like to keep the yarn from the body in the back um, when, I'm, when I'm sewing. Sometimes you can use needles to kind of like get your head in position. Pin it together. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I've done that before, but it didn't really help. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it made my it's head like. Wobbles. Yeah. It made my head like sew on wrong still. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, no. So I was like, you know what? I don't care. I'm going to freehand this. And I did it roughly between the third and the fourth um, row from the bottom. See that? So. Yeah. So you just insert into that, like where we can find it. And then from there, you just start going around into the top part of your body stitches. And then you try to line it up. I don't know about you. I'm going to ask you this question. Yeah. When you're sewing, does it feel like it usually lines up or does it not? No. Right. Okay, good. I'm not yeah. alone. Sometimes it's, it's off. It can be really hard to yeah. match up. And I've tried so hard to make sure that I'm getting them all matched up. Yeah. And sometimes it doesn't work. Sometimes it so doesn't, you just right? And it's totally fine. You just make it work yes. at that point. You're like, I, you know, Got this. you do your best. Yeah. I'm going to make it work. No one's going no to be as critical yeah. as you are. <laughs> I had so much fun with that. I love I, that. SpongeBob on my brain. Look, I did it. Okay. I think I had SpongeBob on my brain. Why? Because this makes no sense. But last night we were watching a lot of um, Weird Al Yankovic. We were introducing oh, the kids yay. to Weird Al. And they were like, he does the SpongeBob thing song. No, they were thinking Captain Underpants. Captain Underpants yeah. yeah. But that's, that's I think close. that's why it stayed in my head. And then that was stuck you, in your head. Dude, little feet. Look You're at so how cute. cute. So I, I counted the rows so you'll see it. But You're I, like, wait, I, you can't see it. Yeah, you can't see. My fingers. Oh, my big fat fingers. No, um, perfect fingers. <laughs> I did it roughly like six rows from the bottom of the body. And that's mm-hmm. where the end part goes. That's where the bottom goes. Yeah. The sixth row in. Um, as you, you probably didn't, you didn't see it from the um, head, but I not, I think I not that all the way when I finished it mm-hmm. and then you just shove it in shove it in mm-hmm. and you don't see it so yep. that's so cool that's why I love amigurumi you just like any mistakes you, <laughs> you can kind of just them. <laughs> hide them I love it you're gone you're so I yeah this is where it gets hard and I kind of get off camera I remember sorry. when you first started amigurumi you're like I don't want to do anything where I have to sew them on because <laughs> uh, <yeah. laughs> I'm so bad at sewing I was, I so the first bad. amigurumi I showed her was an axolotl that's and it was right. a no sew axolotl you and just crochet so everything cool. on it yes and that just lit a fire under her and I was like, because I couldn't do it right away. And she had to like help me start it. We were like doing the magic ring. I didn't know what I was doing. And then um, I left her house and I was like, I think I can do this. And yes, I figured it can. out. And then I did a second one on my own. And I was like, so proud of myself. Mm-hmm. This was like the first project I've ever done. As you know, that I not doing my blanket that I usually do. <laughs> <laughs> my, my normal blanket the, pattern. Nietzsche on a half shell. Nietzsche on a half shell. So, uh, Angela, I was just so, I'm so thankful for her because I wouldn't be able to do Aww. any of this without her. Um, yeah. So I, I credit her for everything. Okay. So sweet. <laughs> so I'm just sewing it on around again. Do, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's a zombie voodoo doll, but, um, 
this is, uh, and I'm going to be honest, this was the first time I did this where I actually made it look where I want it to look. Yes. Like sewing on everything. Like I'm making sure I get this one perfect. It needs to be camera ready. Well, I was, well, <laughs> and even then though, I was just like, I don't, you, I don't know if you're hearing me, but I'm like, I think I got this. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. I got this and I, in my head maybe, but this was hard. I hate the sewing part. Um, I'm getting better at it, but this was the first time it was okay. No, it's perfect. You do <laughs> oh, so good okay. all the time. No, I made um, I made Angela's daughter a doll for her birthday. Who she she loves <laughs> that doll. It is her favorite it's thing. It's a little cat doll. Um, yeah, my my daughter, my youngest, is obsessed with cats. Aww. We have a cat, and here's the funny thing about our cat is our cat does not like to be held. That's he's, right. He's pretty standoffish. Like he's, he's a he, cat. He kind of <laughs> has to be in the mood. And she wants so desperately to hold him, mm -hmm. but he gets so mad. He's like, Meh, I don't want to be held. I right. just want to, you know, do my thing. And so I feel so bad because he's not like one of the ragdoll cats. He's not a that cat you can dog. Just kind of, yes. Yeah. He's not just a cat that will flop around and let you carry him around wherever yep. you want. He's, he's a little bit more independent than that. Yep. And so just, I feel bad for her. But now she has a ton of chickens and the baby chickens that we have, they're at the point now where if you hold a chicken and you lay it on its back, it just flops. I never knew that. They don't. It's yeah. So cool. They just flop. Yeah. And so they're just like little dead weights yep. in your hand. They don't move. They're I don't get so it. stinking cute. And you have these cute little eyes that are just looking up at you. And they're like, <laughs> what are you doing? And then eventually they fall asleep. And then you just kind of pet it's them. It's so cool. And so those are like her new cats. Aww. And she carries them around all over the because yard. Because you can carry them around. Yeah, because you carry them oh, around. That is so so she'll she'll just go. She calls them potatoes. And she's Aww. like, I'm going to go get a potato. And then she'll just walk around the farm with a potato in her hand. I love it. I think I would do that as a little kid too. Yeah. That is so cool. It's cute. But yeah, the cat I made her though has like, I couldn't sew the arms on right. Oh, no. Yeah, but you did though. It's I did so it. But it's like one arm's in front of the other a little more. <laughs> It's oh, just yeah. not perfect. Anyway, but um, there's yeah. the foot. It's hey, out. see, that's why I made it bigger. See that? So you see the front part. There's the back mm -hmm. loop only part, and then it can sit on its own. And I love yeah. that about this derpy zombie voodoo doll. It's so cute. All right, this is where I knot it. Okay, yeah. so she does. I show it. Yep. So I knot it, and then um, you don't see it, right? And you, mm -hmm. even when you do see it, you're just gonna throw just it back in shove there. Shove it in. Yep. Wee. Shove it in. Shove it in. That's not <laughs> the song, but that's what plays in my head. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Okay, so we're gonna skip the other foot. You do it the you same on the other side. Yes, you'll see it. It's cool. You got this, right? Look how happy you are. You just play with him. You're like, it's all cute. It's all out. And touch the second leg. Okay. My my arm. Oh, this is where the your light broke too. Uh, <laughs> so I'm use my husband is so funny. Funny story. Okay. Funkos, right? He loves Funkos. We are insanely crazy at our house. Like they've taken over our house. Okay. He yes. takes photos of them and he's really good at it. He's a good photographer. He's found his niche. Um, he has like a million photographer little lights. Like he's like a, got a bucket of them. Uh -huh. And he's like, here, use these. I'm like, oh, okay. So they're, they're positioned all over, but they run out of battery fast. And so I was so fresh. I was like, what battery's dead, but it's okay. My light's okay. My, it's fine. So there you go. Whatever. Whatever. That was it's my fine. theme. Whatever. It's fine. We're fine. fine. Everything's We're fine. fine. So you can, um, you can sew this on anywhere, but I kind of think I went along the neck. Yeah. You went to it. where you sewed the head yeah. to the body. Yeah. I think that's the best placement. Yeah. I love it. Cause then his little arms are like, <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of poke out to the side. There is, there are some patterns out there that I'm looking at that you actually sew on the arms while you, um, sew the body. Oh yeah. Like it's mm -hmm. like right here. Right. And then it goes. And I was yeah. like, that's really cool because it, then it's like seamless almost. Right. But, um, but I was like, no, I don't, I don't want that. I'm just going to sew it on after. It's all good. It, it all works. It's it, so cute. It looks fun. I love this doll <laughs> so much. It's so cute. I have to make, I have to make Angela one now. Yeah, you do. I need, I need my little voodoo you doll. Need a voodoo doll. You get, <laughs> and then just take out your frustrations on him. He'll take it. He's cool. Oh, yeah, but then he's, he loves you and he'll do whatever you want. See, that's what I think about him. He, he's a good voodoo he's doll. He's a good voodoo doll. And he takes it all for you. And then he's like, I just want to love you. That's what I think of my little dog. Oh. <laughs> now you're I'm giving the personality. Uh -oh. You're giving the personality no. to the dolls. I'm your mother-in-law. Oh, no. It's going to be watching you now. Oh, no. stop <laughs> it. Okay, maybe I don't want one. 
<laughs> I'm going to bring one over for her. I'm going to make it like twice as big. And it's going <gasps> to move about my house. Yes. And you're going to hear pitter patters. <laughs> Stop. It's, well, you won't see scratches <laughs> and things because it's not, it's just a soft doll, but yeah, you'll hear it. Like, you'll hear like a pop. Yeah. Like fall little little the, pitter patters yeah. everywhere. And you'll little, like fall off the couch. You'll hear a pop. Oh, oh, I have a story to tell you <gasps> about things <gasps> moving. Okay. okay. So my husband, a few nights back, mm-hmm. or maybe it was a couple weeks ago, I don't know, um, pushed all the chairs in underneath our dining table before we went to bed. Okay. In the morning, he came out to go do some chores and check on the farm. Mm-hmm. And the tables around our dining room were pulled out. <gasps> and he was like, was someone there? Did a kid move the chairs? Yeah. Because they're not in the position that I put them in last right. night. And all of the kids were like, no, I didn't do it. They're denying it. Right. Mm -hmm. And so he's like, uh, what happened? Yeah. What happened? We still don't have any answers to that question. We put some objects on the table to see if they would move and they didn't. So anyway, it's a, that's creepy. Fun little creepy story. No, you get a poltergeist. Maybe. Oh, look at you like playing with those little arms. (laughs) Because it's so fun. It's so cute. Right. Don't you guys like that little arm placement? (laughs) I think it's so cute. You tell me. So we're going to do some black yarn with our darning needle or tapestry needle, whatever you want to call it. And she's going to make his little mouth. I love how you make the mouth like a little crookedy mouth. Yeah. I, um, so maybe I'll post a a photo of this too, but yeah, when I drew this pattern, Mm because that's what some people do, I was like, I want to draw it first. Yeah. I drew it with a crooked smile. Yeah. I love it. It's so cute. I didn't want a full smile, right? Yeah. He's not perfect. He's a little, he's a little cheeky, a little crooked smile. So yeah, so you just enter right in the middle of where you want it to go, mm-hmm. and then you pull enough yarn through to the point where you want to make the the stitches, right? So then you just go back into where you put it in the middle, mm-hmm. and then you go out to the end where the end of that first stitch that you want to make for that smile. So there you go. So you push it all the way through. Go, mom, go. Go, mom, go. Go, mom, go. You got it. You got it. Okay, now it would make a straight line too, right? But if you... Give it some slack. It yes, curves a little it bit. It curves a little bit, right? And plus, I'm kind of yarn, yarning over that, so you'll see it. There's other ways to make that look like an actual smile, but I just thought this was easiest to do just to keep going back and forth. And then we're going to do stitches over yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So some people do X's. I just went straight up. I did straight lines. See that? So yeah. it gave it a little curve. Now I'm just going back and forth with the stitches. And you can do whatever you want, but I just thought this was the easiest. Yeah. And, and get, it's cute. Yeah. I keeps love getting it. caught on my <laughs> on the limbs. Foot, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ugh, get off the feet. limb. Get off his weight. So there you go. And then, yeah, and then you're back to the, the top part of the there. Top part, and then you go back through the, the opening of it. And yep. then you, the you opening. tie it and yeah. push it. And That's it. it. So yeah, oh, you always want to try to it. end up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> That's great. Um, you want to end up kind of where you started so that you can tie it off and hide up. But you can do whatever you want, really. Yeah. I've, I've done different things every time. But it's just kind of nice to have it right there when you end. Yeah. And you make a little knot so it doesn't come apart. Bloop. I make lots of noises when I make <laughs> <Yeah. things. laughs> We sing little songs. Oh, man. Make little noises. There's my big knot. Okay. I just can't get over how stinking cute he You're is. You're so sweet. I can't wait to make my own. Yes. I just need some more time. I know. Time. We want need eight like, extra hours, right? I need, every I'm, day. I'm at 20. Oh, I no. need 20 extra hours every day. I can see that. That's Because I have, you know, 12 hours of outdoor chores that I need to do. <laughs> and I have podcasting stuff that I need to do with, with editing right. and making sure everything is, you know, good. Yep. Um, and then interaction with our listeners yes and then i have attention that i need to give to my farm your, animals yeah, and then my family farm and, and then family. cleaning the house and cooking food and <sighs> all you know, the things all of the things all the things all the things i'm up to 20 hours that i need oh, it used geez. to be eight but now it's like i need a whole other day for yep. my day <laughs> a day for your day yeah and then hopefully in some of that day i can just sit down on the couch and just not do anything <laughs> <laughs> we try right we have to try to get get, get some time for yeah. ourselves right yeah mental mental we are like mom break. mom mom yep that's what we hear all the time we need our little calgon moment <laughs> calgon take me away old school yeah if you're old enough to get that yeah, reference say, you are our you people know, yeah. <laughs> you were watching tv when we were yeah 
<laughs> oh, oh, so cute. There you go. And, and I think we're going to fast forward the next. No, I think we're going to watch you. So on the heart. Really? And then we're going to okay. fast forward. Yeah, here we go. Okay. Well, I did this because, yeah, you just, in case you wanted to see. So these hearts, again, came from Amazon. They're so cool. Little wood buttons. I'm going to use them for everything. Um, but they're so tiny holes that you have to sew on. So I'm using the DMC floss again. <clears throat> I'm coming in from like the middle of the body. You can come in really from anywhere. You know, where the heart goes. Yeah, where the heart goes. And then, uh, yeah, you just sew it on. Simple. Simple. Easy peasy lemon. Kind of. It just it get frustrating because it's like tiny little needle. Yeah, this is the... I'm surprised you didn't do it before you stuffed the body like you did the Shh. eyeball. <laughs> Does that mean that Nicole forgot? To? I just didn't think about it, man. I didn't think about well, that's it. That's fine. Maybe next time. That's a good call, though. Yeah, to do that, everybody. <laughs> do maybe, that. maybe maybe sew on the heart before you stuff so the body. Sew on the heart. So you can, or do it this way and let us know which is easier to, oh, it's to sew way it on. It's easier when you're doing the actual body itself. That's going to be so much easier. Yeah. Um, oh, that's so cute. I love that little heart button. It's so cute. Yeah, I'm going to give you a few. You can do your own. Okay. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. So, just I do a, a reinforcement of the sewing and then get it, Nicole. Go, Nicole, go. But, yeah. So, you just sew it in. You'll see me do this. But then once you're done, you just tie it off. And I think I use the darning needle again because I just To, to tuck both. the tails yeah. in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And I, again, see, I try to come out the same hole that I came in, I think, because that's when I'm done. And then we like, tie it on. on. We're going to tie it. There you go. It's a little heart. Little snug little heart. It's a little woody heart. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to see, her. It's too much personality <laughs> with this little guy. <laughs> no, that's how I talk to um, Angela's dog. Yes. My dog, Rosie. He's a Rosie. She's staring at us right now. She's like, oh, that's my name. I'm going to come smile at you because that's what she does. She's got the biggest grin. It's the cutest dog ever. Aw. Okay. So, yeah. Miles, don't listen to that. Your oh. mama loves you. <laughs> <laughs> that's my dog. He's not very smart, but he's so lovable. Yep. And he likes to be held like a baby. Yeah, because you picked him up and did that. Yeah. <laughs> I try to do that and he like freaks out. Oh, he really? Like, it's not like a cat where he like goes uh -huh. crazy. He just like goes limp and he doesn't know what to do he's with like, himself. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, what happens now? <laughs> like he's like sitting on my lap and he's just like, what do I do? What do I do with my hands? <laughs> yeah, he's crazy. I love it. He's so funny. He's a silly dog. Okay, okay. now we're going to do a quick speed through yeah. of putting so on other embellishments. This is really quick time lapse because, you know, time. And um, you can just see what I do. You can do whatever you want with the, the embellishments. Yeah, speed run. Um, but yeah, you can put them any you want. I just put it on the head. I put it on the leg. Look at that. It's so, it's so, so fast. You're so fast, Nicole. <laughs> wow, I'm so good. <laughs> I love the speed, like the time lapses. They're so easy to do. Wee. Oh, you already did the foot? Every, when did that happen? Uh, <laughs> off camera. Off camera. Magic. magic. That's when it happened. Must have been you believe magic. in magic? <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's our zomb uh, okay. <laughs> There's my <laughs> zombie voodoo <laughs> zombie dolls. dolls. Please like and subscribe. Yes, please, Email please, us please, at theominousstitch at gmail.com. That's us. Let us know what you got going on and we'll see you, Stitchers. Bye. Bye.